Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. In the last episode, Hajime was exploring Nagito's room, and in that refrigerator over there, we found a bottle of poison that, when in a gaseous form, is heavier than air and is prone to hydrolysis, so when water is added, it breaks down. I do believe we have found our murder weapon. Nagito, are you still trying to make us suffer? Are you still trying to make us suffer even after you've died? Monokuma's special poison has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, next up, the treasure box. A fancy looking treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights is totally standing out. Ah, oh, could this be... Can you let me know if you find my treasure? It's a magnificent treasure box covered in sparkling pink lights. Perhaps... That treasure box. Chiaki, you know about this? Yep, because she's... She's part of the simulation. Hmm. Yep. It's really cute. Nice safe. Oh, she was just reacting. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She was like, oh, shit. <laughs> Is my identity revealed in that book? <laughs> this looks like Monami's stolen treasure box. If this is here, that means the thief Monami was talking about was Nagito. But why would Nagito steal this? In order to find out, it might be good to see what's inside. Hold it. Is it gonna be okay? It looks a little dangerous. It might be, but this could be some kind of clue, you know? If this wasn't important, Nagito wouldn't have stolen it from Monami in the first place. I turned back towards the treasure box and cautiously opened the lid. Inside, there was a notebook. A uh, Usami general purpose notebook. Okay. This is it? Why is a notebook inside this treasure box like it's something important? I took the notebook out of the treasure box and began leafing through it. Oh! Got a bad guy! Okay. It contained sloppy drawings as if they were drawn by children and entries that looked like chicken scratch. Day one. I was able to talk to everyone for the first time today. Monokuma showed up and things turned bad. Day two. Byakia is the leader. Did I say his name right? A day two, Byakia is the leader. A lot of things happened today, so everyone's tired. What is this? A diary? Um... It looks like it. Did Monami write these? Probably. These pictures and entries totally suit her. I kept flipping through the pages. Day three, day four, day five... Page after page of poorly written entries continued on in the notebook. I don't really understand, but it looks like there aren't any clues here. And right when I was about to give up, my hand suddenly stopped in an entry titled Day 16. Day 16. We've been in the funhouse for three days. Everyone's hungry and on edge. Hajime tried to go into the final dead room today. He's probably panicking because no one believes him. Who was it who tried to stop him? It was Chiaki. This isn't Usami's diary, it's Chiaki's. I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to think this through because we, we've never seen her writing. And also, also, it was in Usami's possession. I reckon. Because here's the thing. 
Chiaki's an AI. She doesn't need to physically write to write the diary. She can think it and potentially it'll just it'll just appear in the notebook. Potentially that's another way of Usami keeping track of what's going on with the kids. Because again, they're, they're more likely to talk to each other than a teacher figure. So potentially they might confide in Chiaki what they wouldn't confide to their teacher. So potentially like at the end of the day, Chiaki uploads her memories, shall we say, to the diary and Usami can read them. I mean, here's the thing, Chiaki, Chiaki isn't actually a teenage girl, she's an AI, so maybe, maybe she writes and draws like a child because that's, that's how old she is in reality. She's only a couple of years old, she's only been in development for however long. That it, oh, that is, how would Usami know about that? How would Usami know about that? And it's, it's all from first person perspective. I got to speak to everyone today. That's what it said. I got to speak to everyone. So if it's I, then it's like Hajime went into, he was going to go into the, um, the final dead room. It would have to be someone who was there. The only people who were there were Chiaki and Hajime. God damn. Hmm. Huh? Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. Stop it! Hey, stop! Don't look at my notebook! Whoa! From out of nowhere, Monami suddenly appeared and took the notebook out of my hand. I won't forgive you! Phew! I did ask you to look for my treasure box, but I never said you were allowed to peek inside! Jeez, that was close. If I had come any later, he would have seen the inside of the notebook. <sighs> Unfortunately, you were a little too late. Huh? But if this notebook is here... Um... Then... Nagino was the thief? No! Betrayal! I was betrayed by my beloved student. Hey, hey. Hey, that notebook. It's pretty much your diary, right? That's a leading statement. That right there is a leading statement. That's encouraging her to be like, yes, yes it is mine. It totally has nothing to do with Chiaki. Mm -hmm. Diary? Um... Um, it seems that way. Ta-da! That's right! This is my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written. She's only saying that because Chiaki was going like, This is your diary, right? Right, it's totally not mine. Please say yes. Please say yes. That's right. This is my important diary where all my maiden secrets are written. Hey! Hey, hey, you're a liar! Oh, uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You always show up out of nowhere! Who are you? Mama me! It's not good to lie, you know. Lie? <laughs> There's no way you wrote in that notebook. Yeah! -ha! After all, Mama me can't even write! Huh? <laughs> what are you saying? Jeez, I I can write letters easily! I I can finally write the letter B! That's wrong! No, you can't! Cause you have no fingers on your hands! <laughs> I'll accept that. Phew! See? Bullseye! I know, cause I'm the same way too! <laughs> wah wah? Ha! Huh, are you mad? Are you angry that I exposed a weakling like you? Hey, hey! So that's what this is about. You... You're seriously trying to crush me! What are you saying? Hmm? What are you saying? There's no way a big brother would ever crush his little sister. Hmm... It looks like... 
The time to settle things between us is getting closer every second. Hey, I don't know why you're getting so serious, but is what Monokuma said true? Hmm? He said you didn't write in that notebook. Is that true? Uh. If so, who wrote in it? Um... Um, well, you know, it, it's... Uh, um, how, how should I put it? Bye-bye. Excuse me. <laughs> Hold on. Damn it, she totally ran away again. Yep. The same pattern as usual. Looks like it's a waste of time to try to get answers from her. But still, I really wanted to ask her about that notebook. Well, actually, it might be better if I didn't ask her. Hmm. Monami's notebook has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Okay, and that should... That should just be the bookshelf left. Yeah. There are a lot of books and other mysterious items stuffed on this shelf. The genres and the types of items are all so random. I can't make any sense out of them whatsoever. Well? They say a shelf is a mirror that reflects a person's heart. Do they now? Hmm. I definitely don't know much about Nagito just by looking at this. So what should we do? It'd be really difficult to look through all these piles. Hmm. That doesn't mean we should ignore it, though. Hmm. Oh, this is Chiaki, excuse me. Hmm. Yep. I'll leave it to you then, Hajime. Nice. Wait, what? Um... It's better if a boy goes through another boy's things. You know, there might be private stuff here, like Nagito's porn stash. Well, that might be true, but... See? So, I'll leave this shelf to you. I think I just got persuaded to do this without realizing it. I sighed and walked towards the shelf. One by one, I started removing the various books and items and examining each one. But even as I examined them carefully, they were still a bunch of random books and items. There's no way there are any clues here. Hmm. Huh? What? Hajime is saying, well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma, but Nagito was the one who got the file. I think that's a, I think that's a mistake. Well, that file wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. This is another one. That seal! Indeed, it's the school badge of Hope's Peak Academy. Does that have information about our stolen memories? Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. This file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Nagito said this only contained information about me, but... Is that really true? If I look at this, it should be obvious, right? And he said I was from the reason. Let's try that again. I was gonna go for recourse for some reason. And he said I was from the reserve department and had no talent whatsoever. That might be another one of his lies too. I opened the file I held in my hand to confirm that. Instantly, I realized something was strange. If this really has only my information, then why? Is this file so thick? Ooh. I, I called it. I saw that last line. I said he was talking out of his ass. As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought Nagito had lied to me. I still think it... Again, I'm, I'm excited. I have so many thoughts in my head. 
I still think that um, Hajime has no talent. Because again, we've seen no evidence of him having a talent. So when I say it's that, oh, he lied to me, it just contains everyone's files. It contains everyone's files, so Hajime's gonna be like, oh, well then I could be an ultimate too. Flick, flick, flick. Oh, no. He was telling the truth about that. Balls. As soon as I opened it, it was clear to me. Just as I thought, Nagito had lied to me. Aside from my information, there was information about the others. Kazuichi, Fuhiko, Akane, and Sonya. And everyone who died had pages of information about them too. The file contained information on all 16 of us. So there is information on Chiaki. I, th I think she was real at one point. I think there was a Chiaki Nanami who was potentially the ultimate gamer. And I think she died. Because Chiaki's personality is so fully formed compared to Usami. Usami feels like a character. Whereas Chiaki feels like all of the other students. She feels too realistic. Well, realistic in game sense. You know, like not realistic like she could actually exist in the real world. I'm talking like when compared to the other characters, she lines up. She feels like she's on... Well, I feel like she's on the same level as them in terms of personality compared to Usami. I, I think she had to be based on someone. The file contained information on all 16 of us. Only my information, my ass. I can't believe he'd make up such a strange lie. So that means the rest of it might be a lie too. I turned to the page containing my information and began reading through the content. The profile contained base basic information, such as my date of birth, my height and weight and so forth. But there was one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words, reserve course student. There was no denying it. It confirmed that I truly was a reserve course student from the reserve department. Oh. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Why? Why am I the only one here who's from the reserve department? Why? Why am I here with all the other ultimates? Because there's something going on with that. I, I said it before and I'll say it again. If it takes people playing RimWorld a day to think, ooh, let's create the ultimate RimWorld colonist, how long do you reckon it'd take the teachers to be like, ooh, let's create the ultimate ultimate? And Hajime is so devoted to Hope's Peak. He is so in awe of them. He said it himself, I just wanted to be confident. I thought if I attended Hope's Peak Academy, I'd be confident. So he was a profoundly unconfident person. He was a deeply insecure young man who viewed Hope's Peak as, as his only way of developing of becoming someone he could be proud of. It was Hope's Peak or Bust. And that is something that can be taken advantage of. That level of loyalty and that level of awe. Just so you know, oh my god, I'm at Hope's Peak and oh my god, there are ultimates and oh my, th this is my chance to become one of them. Oh my god, I'm so grateful to be here. I, I can't believe it. Oh my god, like that level of dependency. He was depending on Hope's Peak Academy to turn him into someone who was confident. That can be so easily exploited. And I... Mm, mm, that's all I can say on it. Why? Why am I here with all the other Ultimates? Oh. Hey, hey. Hajime, did something happen? Oh, well, I just found a strange file. Ah. Isn't that the spot?
special prize Nagido received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. The profiles of everyone on this island are in here too. Nagito was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Hmm. Can I take a look at that file? Chiaki leaned against me and peered into the file. Again, just in case, thank you. Hmm. You're right. My profile is really in here. Because she wasn't sure if there would be one. She's thinking, will there be a profile on me, or will there be a profile on the real Chiaki, or will there be nothing? So th this is, potentially, this is a chance for her to learn about who she came from. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Yes, that she was looking. She was looking. Who was I based on? Who was this person? Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm... If it's not written in there... These profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Then it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. I can't remember all of the things Nagito got. I know he got a lot. And here's the thing, he, given his sudden change in demeanor, he had to have gotten information that was from after they joined the school. Potentially it was part of the files and he's removed them and like burned them as some shit to be like, no one else can know. If they figure it out, then, you know, what What if we have another Mikan situation? They might all start killing each other and one of them might win. So now I've got to, I've got to remove this. I've got to remove the evidence. But he... He changed so drastically. And if he just had this information, that doesn't make sense. He had to have learned everyone was an agent of despair. Everyone, including himself, was an agent of despair, aiding the ultimate despair. That's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, seems like it. Ah, hold on. Huh? Hmm? What happened? I... I just noticed it right now, but... The file! His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing, right? Hmm? Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Because he wasn't in your class, but there are 16 profiles. Oh, shit! Oh, come on, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, who was he? Who was he? I'm t the ultimate identity thief. Like, that's, that's my guess. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. <laughs> no way! So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps, based on that, you think he might be the traitor? Hmm. No, it's not just because his name isn't written in here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life at Hope's Peak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island, no matter what, it's definitely suspicious. Hmm. Well pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life Too bad! It's totally wrong! There's a completely different reason! A, a different reason? You're getting all riled up! How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Byakia for no reason! 
Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds that Bianchia doesn't exist. You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What do you mean? What the heck? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through those profiles, right? Huh? Yet there are 16 profiles. Whose name is replacing Byakia's? My eyes turned back to the file. One by one, I started flipping through the pages and confirming the names. Oh! Ultimate imposter! Everything is question marks. I was close. Ultimate imposter. Ultimate identity thief. <laughs> and suddenly, I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Ultimate imposter? Ta -da! That's that Byakia's true identity! True identity? He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny Byakia Togami! A, a fake? Hey, um... The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his age and gender is unknown. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able to exist as anybody. That's his talent! <laughs> Though I'm not jealous of that at all. That person wasn't really Byakia Togami? Perhaps. Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? So cool! Woo -hoo -hoo. His physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all! Real imposters are skilled like that! Then he was lying to us the whole time. But still... But he couldn't help it. What? Why couldn't he help it? Oh. Because that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent means you're also bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has already been chosen for you. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent. Regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> In that sense, compared to the other Ultimates, your life might be a bit more liberating. What the hell? Anyway... I'm... How do I put this, Hajime? You're... You're looking at your life like it is a burden. I'm not an Ultimate, therefore I am a burden to others. I am nobody, I am nothing. However... What they're saying is true. If you have that talent, then you're kind of bound to it. Look at Leon. He was the ultimate baseball star, but he didn't want to play baseball. He wanted to be a musician, but he was kind of stuck doing baseball. He had lost all love for it because he had been forced... Okay, do baseball, do baseball, do baseball. Okay, you're going to take a break now. Do baseball, do baseball, do baseball. It just got... It just got so much to the point where this thing that he loved he didn't enjoy anymore, yet he still had to dedicate his life to it. And that is such a sad place to be in. Hajime, you... Just because you're not special doesn't mean you don't have worth. That seems like something Hajime isn't capable of getting. You are either special or you are worthless. And that isn't the case. People who aren't special can have plenty of worth. Again, it's Hajime's young. 
he doesn't realize it it's something that often happens with age you learn to be confident within yourself you know at, at this age at the age he believes himself to be at you're always looking for like okay what what do my peers say am i am i worthwhile in my peers eyes all of my worth is tied up in what other people think about me and it's it's something he'll grow out of with age it i just i just find it so sad that Hajime is in this really unique position. He, he is a bit more liberated than the others, but he can't see it because his thinking is so black and white. It's something he'd grow out of. Everyone tends to do that. Some people don't, but, you know, for the most part, you quickly realize, you know, once you enter the adult world and, you know, you kind of realize, oh shit, everything isn't like it was back in high school. I, I can have worth that is defined by myself rather than being defined by my peers. It, oh, Hajime. Oh, Hajime, bless him. Ahem, anyway. <sighs> I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right. So I'll tell you straight up, this revelation about Byakuya is exactly the truth. Then, what was he trying to say to me at that time? He was probably trying to come out. He was probably trying to be like, hey, I'm not Byakuya. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Because of his talent, he couldn't be himself. And he was acutely aware of that. Yet Hajime, who can be himself, who can be perfectly himself, doesn't see that because he, he so badly wants the others to view him a specific way. I, oh, Hajime. Hajime. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. Yeah. Hmm. Based on the context, if I had to guess... No, no! Maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. <laughs> but if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. Shing! But since you guys went to Hope's Peak Academy, you should have known about the ultimate imposter already. So, in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Phew! Jeez, the Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should ignore Monomy or the traitor. Hmm. Who is it? Who's the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's from the Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course! Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made that file so you guys couldn't find out. Could it be? So it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey, um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm... I mean, the traitor is a spy by the Future Foundation. Not a student from Hope's Peak Academy. You you made a fake profile for the traitor and included it in here? Correct! It wouldn't be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey. Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito too, right? Hmm. Well, probably. Again, he's not... He's not saying, yes, I included a fake profile. He's being very, very evasive about that. I still think she was based on a real person. Because that... That makes sense to me. But I don't... Like, like, from a storytelling perspective, I mean, it makes sense that, you know, okay, we have, 
we, we want to create this AI that the students would trust. Um, we have someone who died potentially in all of the chaos that the uh, the tragedy caused. Um, they trust that person, so let's let's include them. We have a student profile that tells us all about them, who they were, you know, who they were during their time at Hope's Peak. So we can just put that personality into the, the machine and then boom, we've got this nice AI. I think that would be a really nice connection. But Monokuma is being very like, oh, did I, didn't I? Is it fake? Is it not? Maybe it's real and I edited it. Maybe the whole thing is fake. I... I don't know. Hope's Peak Academy file has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. <laughs> hoo -hoo -hoo. It's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't a clue. Are you sure about this? Was that a wise decision? Time's up, you know. Time's up? Wait. Bye-bye! Excuse me for a moment. That chime just now. What is most important for living things? Well, personally, I think time is. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful than wasting time. So... Time's up! We will begin the last class trial, so please gather at Monokuma Rock! <laughs> I'll see you soon! The last class trial? He, he said that right. He said last class trial. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um... Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? And he said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit, this might definitely be the last one. But still... But... I can't imagine that it's the real end. Huh? I think Monokuma's real plan might be just beyond that. His real plan? Is Monokuma still planning to make us do something? What could it be? Maybe after putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once? Well... But still... It's also not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. You're right. A class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. I haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on this file. I still can't see who killed Nagito. I think she's right in front of you, mate. But still... Well, you don't have to worry so much. Huh? Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? Hmm. You're right. You're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. Yeah. If we do that, things will turn out fine. Okay. Uh, first Island, Monokuma Rock should be right here. Also, you know what, just while I'm thinking about it. Chibimi, how you doing? Okay, there you go. Damn right. Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Huh? Is this it? Shouldn't there be more people? Damn it. 
stop it. You're making me depressed. Stupid fool. You're making me depressed. Hmm. Um. So, it is going to happen again. The cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? That's right. <laughs> that Monokuma bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. Damn it. But we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Of course not. Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do all this is the one saying it, you know? You know, right? That's why I'll definitely survive. If we can really go home after we deal with this class trial... That's right! I'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what. Even if I have to pull out all the stops. You... What the fuck? Why are you here? Hmm... You haven't realized it yet? That feeling of wanting to leave this island, thinking like that is Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. <laughs> ah, stop trying to jinx us. I'll beat you up. Damn right. Stupid rabbit should just shut up. to say this sounds like something that should be directed at Hajime. Yeah, exactly so. So I will fight! Huh? What's her deal? Um... I do not really know, but she seems different from before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait! But her eyes... She looks so determined. You... What can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Ah. Uh. Anyway, make sure you turn off Minimaru. It'd be annoying if he started talking during the trial. Huh. Aw, oh, fine. But still... Somehow, I understand what Monami is saying, I think. Hmm. Anyway, let's get going. To the last class trial. Yep. You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. This is the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma Rock. ride. This will be the last time for this too, right? I hope so. Well? Let's worry about things after we're finished. You are right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. Damn it. The killer managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is going to go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Um... Anagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. But even if he's gone, the ones who've survived need to stand and fight. We must fight. And then the doors slowly opened.
This bright light greeting us. Is that the light of hope? Or the light of despair? Well now. And you know what? I'm going to bring this episode to a close right here. In the next one, we begin the class trial. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. And if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.